Hello there, Wargaming enthusiasts. Welcome back to Combat Machine Red Thunder, where the situation is beginning to get a little sticky. Our ISU-122 is knocked out, basically, from combat, and uh, it actually gets shot at more, but manages to survive that. These guys manage to withdraw successfully, no problem. And our guys in the village are doing a good job fighting off the enemy half-tracks. So we can actually take a look at that before we proceed. Shot up quite well as they try to withdraw. Um, in the meantime, the enemy counter moves up and takes care of the building over here and pins down our guys. There we go. Um, casualties and low morale ensue. Um, we do manage to capture a bunch of German prisoners out here. We're giving up, that's good. Um, yeah, but generally speaking, we are cleaning up over here. It's yeah, basically, these guys don't have a way to fight that, because so now they don't seem to be armed very well. well. Um, the problem is, though, that while we are doing pretty well here, you can see that we are taking casualties whenever we're fighting a long range battle. So, let's actually take a look at this. These guys managed to move up, um, but only one of them actually manages to spot enemy units, which is not great. Yeah, initially none of them see anything, but after a while... Yeah, there we go, this guy spots the panther. The panther actually spots him first and fires. He fires back. We managed to hit the weapon, which is great, but we don't penetrate. We bounce a shot, the other panther misses, but this guy manages to hit, and not only does it hit this tank, it also hits the commander of this tank by shrapnel. Which is bloody annoying. So they're withdrawing, but another shot finishes them off. Um, to my annoyance, this guy then manages to spot, I mean, the, as the smoke clears up, this guy spots one of the panthers, fires, and doesn't do anything. The panther spots him, and we're probably going to be under fire just now. So, chances are we're going to lose this guy as well, which is annoying as hell. Um, we are just not capable of doing long-range duels with these guys, so we're not going to attempt it very much longer, especially not with these guys. It's just the odds are not in our favor. Um, we spot this guy over here, which turns out to be a martyr tank, uh, a martyr assault gun. Um, which is fine, because that's where artillery is uh, pointed, so with a bit of luck, we can maybe pin him down there. Um, I'm still a little tempted to use these guys to make another run at the at the panthers and move them up here once more um, they should have about 30 seconds to fire that should be fine um, we're going to definitely withdraw this guy try to get him behind the building if we manage this that's great otherwise he's dead anyway um, we'll try to get these guys um, out of that house and maybe into some other house somewhere else, but we're not going to probably be able to do it right now because those guys don't have any way to actually... well, uh, their morale is low, so we don't have any way to uh, give them orders. Um, these tanks over here probably are going to stay here for now. I think I want to move up one of my infantry squads uh, to support this other tank. I've got an infantry squad, so just probably do that. Just in case any enemy infantry wants to move in and uh, try any grenade play or something like that. This guy is positioned well, I think. Um, yeah, and these guys, I don't know what to do with these guys. It'll be great to get them back, to get them into the village as well, but I have no idea how to do that. The uh, those two panthers and those guys over here are just going to make short, short work of them. I'm definitely going to withdraw them right, right now, there's no point um, sticking around. 
we're not winning any long range duels as I said and I don't know whether the enemy panthers will not be able to spot them here if they um, look in this direction uh, long enough so we'll get out of here um, I ordered this guy to fire at the tanks but I don't think he is firing which is fine um, yeah and that's pretty much it we'll try and wait for our artillery to maybe come in and do the hard stuff for us Four minutes, though, we have to keep them in there for four minutes, which is... Well, I don't know whether that's likely or not, but we'll give it a go. Um, if he withdraws, that's too bad. Um, alright. And I'm not worried about that tank firing at the houses over here. I don't think it can take care of too many houses at once. So that's fine. Um, right, so let's withdraw this guy. Let's get this guy. I mean, this guy stays. This guy is pretty good cover, actually. We'll make sure that he doesn't... Uh, that he's not too exposed, but it seems that he's covered from, from most sides by the forest. And anyone coming through here, we would have a pretty good handle on, I think. The only thing that's problematic is that there's a certain area here that could be a little annoying but it's basically on the other I mean down the, someone would have to go downhill from there these guys definitely don't have an angle and none of these guys seem to have an angle there are angles over here but I think they're manageable and that it's pretty long range alright so yeah so I'll give the order this guy is going to be particularly um, hard to do because I think I need to move him up just on fast over here and I think that would do it maybe but then I'd have to move him like this I just don't think we'll make it <laughs> to be honest uh, let's try and do that just in case we manage um, yeah Alright, like I said, I'm going to withdraw these guys back here where they're safe. And I'm going to f try and figure out what to do with them. Maybe I'll use this guy as uh, some sort of decoy cover sort of thing. Just gather enemy fire and uh, not have our guys get fired at. It's a little dangerous. You can see stuff over here. I certainly would hate for you to try engaging, so maybe we're going to move this guy a little back. Um, huh. And then you should be fine-ish. Yeah, because then they'd have to get down down there, which is fine. I don't want this guy to engage at long range, certainly not. Certainly not. Okay. So we've got these guys. They're running over there. Stop running over there. Move up here. And just stay there. Uh, yeah. Let's move you to the edge of the forest over there. Right, and these guys... I'll go for it. I'll try it. Um, just one shot and move back. It's gonna be tough. Ah, uh, didn't need to do that. And, um, as well. Ah, uh, bloody hell. This is hard, this is really tough. Let's get you down on the first floor where you will be less likely to get shot at. Let's try a shot over here. Actually, let's do several. You 
you can't find anywhere up there because of the forest and things. It's fine. You can do a shot over here though. And you could maybe try... Um... Shot over there? Why not? Let's do that for 30 seconds. Alright. Um, what's up this? It's a squad. Okay, oh, it's a heavily, it's a heavily mauled squad, but we'll take it. We'll move you guys up here. Support those tanks. You're still fatigued, so we'll give you a little bit more time to rest. You're actually moving up. We'll see some of the enemy tanks over there, but... Probably, hopefully, they don't see you right now. These guys are seen by our infantry in that house, that's fine. Our infantry over here is unable to really do anything, which is a shame. I guess 600 meters, over 600 meters is too much for a sniper. Um, how about if that was slightly less than 600 meters? Right. This. Maybe that would work? Well, I guess we'll see. Alright, so I actually did the turn in front of you this time. Um, hopefully we get to save our three T-34s over here. Worst case scenario, this panther kills off one of the other T-34s in that forest because it can see us and we don't see it. This guy sees this guy and kills this guy off. Um, that's the worst case scenario, I don't think we have anybody else in danger right now. Although we are putting these guys in danger, so I guess um, some time could die as well. Um, that would be very bad. I think so far our execution is pretty good, but yeah. like I, I mean, I was kind of hoping that maybe we'd get some lucky shots off, shots off, and that we'd have three tanks against one tank. But it's mostly been our one tank against two enemy panthers, so that's not working out. And um, we. They've been bouncing off all of our shots, and we have been mostly not bouncing anything. It's a really uncomfortable thing to be rid of this guy so soon in the game. Yeah, well, what can you do? I'm kind of frustrated, to be honest, with the situation right now, because... I mean, I knew going in that the enemy has all of the advantages, but... I was trying to mitigate them, but now I'm out of options. I mean, if the if we are not able to hold the town, there's nothing we can do really. And why am I engaging the enemy on in long range? I mean, I can just wait in the town for him to come to me, right? And then I can use these guys. So maybe it's a stupid thing to think about. To think about it. I'm risking losses. Every time I peek out, I'm risking losses. On the other hand, it'd be very boring to just sit there. <laughs> so I don't know. Okay, let's let's try this little excursion once. And if it and if it doesn't work, then too bad. Um, let's say I called it. But if it does work, we shoot somebody up. That's going to be a huge success for us. Um, if it does work, we're going to nevertheless withdraw them, and we are probably not going to use them again for a while. Oh, actually, let's get this guy out of here. Because he is needlessly under fire. Let's get him over here. Right. have some firing at arc so you don't actually go firing at anybody. Uh, yeah. Next turn maybe I'll move this guy up from this forest into one of those houses maybe or just to the edge of the of the objective zone. Yeah hopefully this oh this guy is also possibly under threat. Hopefully he'll get out of the way as well. Hmm, it's just not good. 
Okay, let's go. What if we stay here? And hopefully we'll be able to... Uh, That be stiff enough resistance so that the enemy is not able to charge him. Although, knowing life, he'll just stick to uh, standing still on the end, edges there and not move up until he figures out that we don't have too many units left. There's another panther coming through here. How many panthers has he caught? God damn it. Because so far, he seems to have more tank units than I do. It's like two panthers over here. There's uh, uh, in the in the corner there. There's at least two panthers over here. There's one probably here. I mean, I don't know if that's a panther or not, but it kind of looks like a panther. So that's what. That's six, five, six. There's that guy over there. I think we're missing one more somewhere here. So that, that's why I think there's six. Okay, and there's one of these guys over here. There's probably something in reserve, because uh, my opponent has been kind of looking at that technique of just using reserves uh, for whatever. So yeah, so there's probably something more in reserve, maybe one, two more, two more. That'll be eight. Well, I've got eight T-34s, and then I've got four assault guns, one of which is currently not working, and also I have one less T-34 currently than I started with, so... Uh, it's not looking good for me. Uh, losing up to two in the following turn, I think. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. Still, could have been much worse. I was really, really expecting a massacre to occur as we're moving up through that smoke, but luckily this didn't happen. Luckily, we got into the village at the very least. And, um, if nothing else, that's, that's a, I consider that a, <laughs> pretty good play at least. Um, we're going to try and at least maintain the hold on the village so the enemy cannot claim it. Um, if he comes to us then we have the advantage. If he doesn't come to us then it's going to be a, a stalemate because I'm just unable to uh, take care of his forces out there and I don't think I'm actually able to push through the village because I would just expose myself to enemy fire as I do that. Yeah, so that's the situation, and this is a pretty lengthy video there, um, but I guess I have to think some, think some things to, before I proceed for the next turn, and I guess I didn't mind doing that out loud. Anyway, at least it's been a pretty scenic, scenic battle, we've got that advanced as well, and stuff like that. Hopefully it's at least enjoyable from that respect, um, although it might drag on a bit otherwise. Hopefully not though, um, and if you stuck around this long, uh, you're probably still out for the stick around for the next turn, so see you then.